Hurry up, stupid son. I want to show him my bass. Oh, this is taking forever. Susan Goyle, sing me a song to pass the time. Stop. Just stop. No, that's that's good. Thank you. I'll just wait. Making it happen at the Great White Channel, that's all. Ooh, what a do, dude. This is a Great White making it happen again today with some more Pixar. Very excited about the day. It's been a while since we put a video up, but we put a video up today. And I got a lot to show you guys. So, we've made a pretty okay amount of progress in the sense that we've tamed a lot of dinos. We got a lot of taming done. Look at all this taming. Look at all this that's going on. But, we haven't done a lot with building. Um, I actually recently started my next build. Very excited about it. We're going to check it out today. But first, I thought I'd take a minute and introdu introduce you guys to all my fancy tames. So, let's just kind of make our way around here. And I'll, I'll, I'll just, just t tell you guys a little bit about, about what I've uh, kind of done here. So, first off, we've got Big Bertha. Big Bertha was one of my first tames. And she is a lovely lady. But she doesn't... I just, she's not the smartest track. She's, she's not the smartest person, you know, Dino in the whole entire, you know, Pixar Kingdom Maria place thing. She does her best. She likes to, you know, spend a lot of her time halfway buried underground. I don't know why she does it, but she, that's what she does. So there's that. She's a, she's a lovely trike. If we come over here, this is the best tame I've ever gotten. Well, sort of. I had, well, we'll talk about some of my tames in a minute. But this is one of my favorites. This is this is Baloo because he's a bear and he's also Baloo. So I named him Baloo. This is kind of funny because it's a bear like the jungle. Okay, moving on. Very exciting. Over here we have our raptor. His name is T for Tiny Rex. So T Rex, the T is for Tiny. He's a fun little raptor. He, he likes to run around. He's a neat guy. He's a neat guy. He's, he's pretty fun. He's a pretty fun little mount. He's not the strongest in the world, but he's he's enjoyable. He's, he's fun to get you know run around, and get some meat on him. Now over here we have our Griffin Kathy, or if you will, Kathy Griffin. <laughs> this is my favorite mount. She likes to, she's really good at wrecking face. If we just quick, do a quick little fly around here, where? Oh, where is everything? Oh, there's something. Look at this Tranodon. Oh, 397 damage. Oh, so wonderful. I love you, Kathy Griffin. You're the best. <laughs> and then, moving on over, we have Stubbs. Stubbs is our Carno. He's a fun mount, too. He, he's he's pretty uh, pretty strong, also. Pretty much all I do with my mounts is I pump damage. That's pretty much all I do. It's, well, most of them, that, that, that's, they don't really gain a whole lot of anything. Stamina, usually, you get a lot. But I just pump everything into damage, because why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want to wreck some more face? That's what I should name him. You know what? We're changing name. Your name's no longer Stubbs. From now on, you're Face Wrecker. I don't. I think that's the right way to spell Wrecker. I hope so. Face Wrecker. He wrecks faces. Now, moving on over here, we've got our other trike. His name is Big Wheel, and he's a lady. <laughs> I didn't realize that until just now. They're both ladies. That's great, though. Now. This is our ice elemental. This is our ice elemental we caught. Ice elementals are great. They're like refrigerators. They keep everything fresh. And I named the icy. And the the story behind icy is living his life, looking for his counterpart hot. And someday, hopefully, we'll find his hot. We'll find icy's hot, and they'll live happily together forever. Um, oh yeah, on me I have uh, this little firefly. Who doesn't have a name? He's just a firefly because fireflies die a lot because I die a lot and usually when I die so does the firefly so that's a thing but over here we got my favorite mount everybody meet Susan Goyle <laughs> it's Susan Goyle <laughs> okay moving on <laughs> all right so this brings us to the last part of, of our of our tames I want you guys to meet my fleet of pteranodons <laughs> you're probably asking yourself Great White, why don't you pix block all these dinos? Or if you don't know how this game works, you're probably like, what is pix blocking, you weirdo? And I'll tell you what it is. You can turn your dinos into little squares. Let's take a look at, oh, I forgot to inter guys, introduce you guys to, let's check out, this is Purple Tooth Cat. Purple Tooth Cat, let's show them what a pix block is. So I convert, you just go our little radial window here. We have convert to pix block. 
So if I click that, it turns it into a fixed block, which means he's in my hot bar. I can put in my inventory, or in my hot bar, or I can keep him in my inventory. But we'll keep him on the hot bar. And then when I want to get him out of my hot bar, I can just click on that number, and bam! He's a dino again. Very exciting. It's pretty neat stuff. Pretty neat. Anyway, the fleet of Pteranodons. Why do you have so many Pteranodons, Great White? Well, let me tell you. When it comes to taming things and you're by yourself, a really pro popular strategy is to use a taming pen, like a hole in the ground, or like a cage. And if you have a cage, it's hard to... Let's take Doc Pteranodon, for example. Say I'm flying around on Doc Pteranodon, and I've got a door that I'm trying to, to get a dino to follow me into, like right here. I could try and, like come really close and have the dino close behind me and then try and fly over it really quick and get him to, to come through the door or if I want to I could just have the door open fly through it land my pteranodon jump off run away and then let the animal get through the thing I'm trying to tame kill the pteranodon and then lock him in so yes it's a bit morbid sure is there something wrong with me almost definitely but it's an easy way to tame things. Sacrificial Pteranodons. I'm telling you guys, Sacrificial Pteranodons are the way to go. I used to have like 20 of them, and then they all died, and then I retamed all of these ones. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, if you play this game, Sacrificial Pteranodons, it's the way to go. They're so easy and fast to tame. You, you never run out of them. They're everywhere. Look, look around. There's a Pteranodon. There's some over here. Oh, there's another Pteranodon uh, over there. Can I see some? I'm sure there's some over there. They're everywhere. You'll never run out of Pteranodons. It's the greatest thing ever. Now, if you want to look at the Pteranodons, a lot of these are from the time when they're the highest level is level 60. So we've got Dingy, whose brother Wingy was other, already sacrificed um, to tame something. I can't remember. And then we have Blue Bonnet. Over here we've got... Wait. Blue Bonnet? There's two Blue Bonnets? Well, there's two blue bonnets. Oh, there's a pteranodon who I haven't named yet. Yeah, I, I was a little sloppy with stuff. Let's come up with a new name for pteranodon right now. How about, uh, your name will be Blue Lagoon. That's good. Blue Lagoon. I like to theme my names for pteranodons off the color blue because they're all blue. And we have Blue Bunny and uh, Blue Waffle. If we make our way down here, then we've got Blue Christmas, a big Elvis fan. Not me, that, that Pteranodon is. I don't care for Elvis. That that Pteranodon is a huge Elvis fan. I actually don't mind Elvis at all. But we have Blue Leader, because he's 119. That's a little Star Wars reference, because there is Red Leader, I'm pretty sure, is the name of the dude, where they, they uh, say all, you know, Red Leader checking in, or whatever whatever they say. They just went with Blue Leader. I thought it was fitting. We have Blue Balls. Well, that's the name. We don't, you know, uh, you get it. And then we have Blue's Clue and Blue's Clue. These two, these are Blue's Clues. <laughs> and then there's Fred. So that's the Pteranodons. That's all my Pteranodons I have. Now, I told you guys, I work, I started a new building project, and I want to show you how that's happening. So if we take a look at the map, I've really I've discovered a little bit. You see, I took a little trip around the uh, outer edge of the map, so we, we kind of did some sightseeing. I was trying to find a new place to build, but actually, Trifunctional is the one that told me that uh, I should look at the... There's a grasslands near zero zero, and I took his advice, and I started building there. Um, this is uh, Trifunctional's base. We have a, another friend on the uh, the server called Bear Grills who builds right here. This is, these are their bases. It would be nicer if it was daytime when I was looking at these, but you guys get the idea. And then over here we have Easy Kill here, who has really gone ham. The guy's really built a lot. It's, it's a massive base. It's really impressive, and I'm jealous. So that's why I started on my base. So if we check out the map again, we're going towards zero, zero. And at zero, zero is my biggest building undertaking that I've ever undertaken in my whole undertaking history of undertaking things it's really quite the undertaking really so I'm pretty excited about it I haven't made a ton of progress you guys you'll see it's I mean it's really it's it's all right it's looking it's looking okay it's uh, my initial idea is I want to get you know the shell I want to put together the shell and then we'll kind of start to detail it from there we're doing just some stone because I don't want it I, you know I want it to look like stone I don't want any of the other weird like ability stuff but we might do some of the interior some different colors and stuff we'll see it's lightning storming right now which means I'm almost definitely gonna get hit by lightning right now which is not good that's gonna be bad 
bad news. But we made it to the grasslands, so I'm not going to get hit by lightning. Wow, that was really lucky. Anyway, um, just a quick update before we uh, check out the base. Uh, I understand it's been a while since I put out videos, and a lot of you uh, follow my channel for Portal Nights. Um, there is Portal Nights coming. I promise you, I've been playing a lot of Portal Nights. I've been making a lot of progress for the Season 2. Um, there's just a lot that's going into the initial launch of Season 2, and then I had this really cool plan to have a lot of community involvement with the Season 2 projects. So I promise you it is still coming. I'm sorry to make you wait for so long, but just just, just hold on. Just, you know, you know, hold your horses. It's going to be okay. We're going to be there. It's going to happen. It's just going to take a minute. Anyway, let's check out the build. Woo! Here it is. So here's what's going on, guys. Oh. It's so dark. I wish I could make it daytime again. Eh. We'll just get our torch out. It's... <laughs> this is not... You know what? I'm just going to wait for day to come. I'll be right back. Ah. <sighs> Look at that beautiful sunrise, Susan Goyle. I mean... Look at that place where the sun would normally be rising if the sun rose like it normally rises. But there's no sun rising. But the light's showing up anyway. Just breathtaking. Anyway, hey, the sun's up. Oh, crap. That wasn't good. Huh? Did it hurt? No, not too bad. Didn't hurt too bad at all. Hey, that's something I want to show you guys. Check this craziness out. Okay, so we're going to check out the build, of course. Um, it's a build in progress. No, we'll not call it a build yet. The BIP, build in progress. So, look at this weirdness. This is pretty high up, right? If I fall, I should definitely take damage. And I don't know why I didn't take damage right there. But, look at this stuff. If I, if I just, let's take you off and follow. If I just, not, not jump, but if I just waltz off this, this thing. No fall damage. Nothing. That's so high, I should definitely be taking fall damage from that. I want to see something. Let's check this out. Hey, come here, Susan Goyle. Come take me back up. Let's. We're gonna do a little. We're gonna do a little Pixar science, as as the boys say. Let's let's check it out. So if I jump off Susan Goyle up here again, let's take you off follow again. What if I I have these springy boots on? What happens if I'm not wearing the springy boots? Let's put on our snow boots, because also look how stylish they are. I mean, come on. Oh yeah, that's good. That's the stuff. All right. Let's just, if I just, okay, lesson learned, note to self, I need to make a bed at the new base, uh, let's see, oh no, oh no, I don't have my springy boots on me, well, blue balls, let's fly, ha, and we're back, thanks blue balls, I don't know what I'd do without you, you too Susan Goyle, get down here, I need you. And my springy boots. So, yeah. Didn't know that's how that worked. So, if you guys are wondering, you don't take fall damage if you got springy boots from, like, a lot high. I don't know. What, what are you doing? Don't fall. I didn't tell you to follow. Eh. Sit down. Oh, what are you doing? Both of you. Just stay still. Jeez. God. You guys are going to gonna drive me crazy. Anyway, here's the build, guys. So, here's what's going on. Let's take a look. Okay. Well, I just told you to sit still. We're going to fly around a little bit. So... Check it out. This is what I got going on. So I wanted to go for a little bit of a circle. Or if you're Slipgator, you call it a squircle. Or I think that's just a thing that Minecraft people call it. I don't know. But that's what we're going to call it, I guess. It's a bit of a squircle in, in a sense. But it's not a, like a legitimate squircle. If we fly up a little higher, let's get a bird's eye view of it. It's a little more square than it is circly. So it's more of a squircle. No, that, that doesn't work either. I don't know. But it's like, uh, I'm going for like a tower. We're going to build a huge tower. And let me tell you guys, what you see right now is going to be like nothing. And there's not going to be anything going on down there. It's mostly going to be dino storage down there. There will probably be like an elevator shaft up the middle maybe. But like I'm thinking a super tall tower. We're going to make it huge, like obelisk size. But I don't think we're allowed to build that big. But as big as it's going to let me build it is as big as we're going to make it. And like I told you, we're going to get the shell out first. We're going to get like, you know, make it look like a tower and then we're gonna detail it and make it look cool so um t it's taking a lot of grinding stone t it's taking a lot of, of rock I just, I just that's like all i do is i'm on rock now but i think what we're gonna do is these are gonna be big windows right here in the corners that's why i got this interesting kind of shape thing going on we might mess around with some stairs 
Ooh, yeah, maybe some stairs and some other things too. We're gonna mix in some marble. I j actually that night cycle took so long that I ended up just doing some building while I was waiting. Um, I just well, all I did really, all I really was did was place these marble Blech, words. Ah, I placed this marble, and um, we're gonna. It's gonna be a lot wider. I think the marble's gonna be as wide as the doors. So I'm gonna need a lot of marble. But ooh, maybe it won't be as wide as the doors. Maybe we'll do like half the width of the doors, but like in the middle, you know? Yeah, maybe we'll go with something like that. Maybe some interesting shapes around the middle. Maybe we'll make it look kind of cool, you know? That's uh, that's neither here nor there. I mean, we'll get there eventually. We'll, we'll uh, so it is there, I guess. We'll, we'll get to it, but for now, we're going to get the tower built. So up here, we're going to have it like go up, and then I th I'm thinking like I'm going to have the windows like angle in a little bit, and then I'm going to have like, so uh, it's hard to kind of describe it's going to kind of angle in, but then there's going to be like an upper parts of the tower where all of my actual base stuff is going to be like storage and and uh, like any stuff like uh, crafting tables and things like that. And I'm going to have like like a, a, a whole like level for like landing flyers. So like if I'm flying into my base, I can come up under like here or like maybe on the corners, I'll put it and I can like land and like walk into my base up here. And then I'll be like able to dismount and then go up into my little workshop area. Maybe the the lander flying area is where the storage will be too, so that the workshops are up above it, so that I'll still have access to the storage for my workshops, so that uh, it's a little more convenient to do some crafting. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it, but this is like not nearly as tall as it's gonna be. We're gonna go much much taller with it. And I've been filling in the corners here. I'll kind of show you guys uh, when I built this. It unfortunately made it so that the uh, Oh, this one's already done. Let's check out one that's not done already. Uh, yeah, like this one. Um, these corners were just kind of like... I don't know. I didn't really care for them. They looked a little bit weird. So I ended up just kind of wrapping stone around it. Because the brick on these behemoth gates is like bigger than the other bricks. So, I don't know. I try to cover it up a little bit. So, it, so it's a little bit more consistent. If we look at like one that's actually done like over here. Yeah. You can see we got the the brick that wraps around, so there's just like a two wide next to the the gate. Plus, I think it make, gives a little bit more shape, you know, M makes it you know come out a little bit more. It's not just like a flat wall, so I, I think it's a, a nice little touch. And then we're gonna put glass in the windows, I think, and then maybe line some marble around those. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. But um, it's definitely a work in progress. I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update. I know it's been a long time since I put a video out. And uh, every time this happens and I take a few weeks to get a video out, which has been a lot lately, it's because my life has been crazy. I've been going through a lot of changes at work. And um, as I tell you guys this like every time. But if you, if, you, if you believe me, I'll tell you, they changed my schedule like three times and it's changing again. So, oh, it's crazy. But... The good news is, is I might be able to get on a morning shift, and then I'm thinking I might try and start streaming in the evenings. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. But uh, in the meantime, this is what I had planned for today. I hope you guys like it. If you do, hit the like button. If you haven't seen the channel, you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe because we're going to keep putting content out. I'm going to try and keep it consistent. Uh, but, I mean, definitely definitely subscribe because we'll definitely we'll, we'll keep getting stuff out. and it'll, it'll be there, I promise you. It might be a minute, but hopefully we'll get something a little bit more consistent very soon. But I appreciate you guys watching. I hope it was fun. I had fun. And uh, you guys just have just have the best kind of day. <laughs> See you later, dudes. Fly, Susan Goyle. Fly. <laughs>